We had a very special day here at St. Mary's Seminary because we chartered a new council. This is the first seminary in the United States, founded in 1791. And this is where Father McGivney did his final seminary formation. Father McGivney was formed for the priesthood at St. Mary's. And so it seems to me very, very appropriate that this seminary should be the seat of a council of the Knights of Columbus. There's some wonderful seminarians here who form the council, and I'm so impressed by them because they really have the spirit of Father McGivney. It's important because Father McGivney really speaks to the heart of the priesthood, and I think he can be a model for priests model for being with your parishioners in a very close way, to walk with their parishioners the way Father McGivney did. We're so glad to have Archbishop Laurie, the Supreme Chaplain, and the Supreme Knight, Patrick Kelly, here for the charter dedication. We've been working for the past year or so to get a Knights of Columbus chapter here up and running, and now this recognition from the Supreme Council has really meant a lot. We've begun a project to renovate an upstairs chapel to make it into a place where we can stop by to pray to our Lord and ask the intercession of Michael McGivney with the daily tasks that seminary has to offer. Knowing that Michael McGivney, who is up for canonization within the church, came here and was formed here makes him, in a sense, like my patron saint. Now I can pray to him to help me grow my formation for the priesthood. It's really important for us as seminarians, as future priests, to be able to be a part of the councils in our parishes, to be chaplains to the councils, to encourage the men who are part of these councils, to really live for the parish community, to build up the community in their local parishes. The secret weapon of Father McGivney's charism is the strength that he can provide to parish priests. And that may be the key reason why the Lord is bringing forth Father McGivney at this time in the life of the church.